They call this guy undead chronic. This guy's brain cells are chronically dead. The guidelines, which were highlighted in the January issue, say the pressure boys and men feel to conform to certain aspects of traditional masculinity can lead to poor health outcomes, including higher rates of suicide, substance use, violence, and early death. So did again, they standard, did they I- Did standardize the data from single mother households? So I care a lot about men and I wanna see men living better lives. And when there are people like you that are preaching this idea Ooh. that if men are They're acting quote unquote feminine or they need to go to the gym or they shouldn't show emotion, they that that gym. somehow makes them weak or somehow makes them beta. They are physically weak if they don't go to the gym. contributing to the problem here. Like you, you're actually mm -hmm. actively contributing to the well, issue. Well, you're citing a study you don't know if they standardize for a bunch of other factors which lead to suicide. So like you're using the study, you're waving it around, you're saying you're an intellectual, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm not saying I'm an intellectual. I'm actually, it's the, the opposite, which is even more embarrassing for you because I'm demonstrating oh. that just a little bit of research from somebody who is not an oh, intellectual you, you is able to prove research, how you're wrong the and how then, bro. how you're wrong. How they standardized for other risk factors of suicide. They're just talking about toxic masculinity. Was there a father in the household? Do they need their to- prenatal drug exposure. They, do, what level of economics were they at? But you don't want to, you, since you got the golden goose and you could say men are killing themselves because toxic masculinity, you don't need to research more into it. Google search is what you need. Okay. Yeah, I look for. I try to look for research to back up my opinions. I don't usually use my don't feelings understand like the you. Research. You can find research to find anything to back. I mean, up as anything. as a you know, I, I don't know how you, Mr. Alpha, are over here justifying feelings over facts. And in, in my book, you know, well, using factual information you don't know to. About the facts. Oh no, the mystery meat's attacking the mystery meat. Oh. What? Are we actually just like laughing hysterically and making fun of a woman? You see how this girl's all reserved and chill with her headphones on? This is entitlement. She feels entitled to security. She feels entitled to protection. She assumes that she can just sit there and look like a doll because if this person... Whoa. Uh. Hold on. She says... Crazy man seems to be unarmed. Two guys could have taken him down. What? what? We're, we don't we don't care about you, hoes. I'm not putting anything on the line to protect you. If you are not draining me every night, I I don't know what else to say. I I have nothing. I am at a loss for words too. This is just mock the woman for being entitled, and then you simultaneously are acting 50 billion times more entitled to a woman's body. So undead chronic. Thanks so much for for join in the discord um yeah, no problem, man. we recently went over one of your videos on the channel and uh, mm -hmm. it's fair to say i was a little bit taken aback by um the levels of uh derangement it featured if you oh, will yes yeah i mean you could definitely interpret it as derangement the way i see it is those with a weak ideology uh -huh. see strength as threatening or derangement and you could say it a different way to be more sensible um someone who has such a a passionate view against the norm you could interpret as derangement being crazy uh being intense whatever it is but you know i'm not insulted by that you could say derangement but it seems as though you are a little bit insulted and arguably acting weak in a way uh in regards mm. to women uh living more liberated acting lives weak. in regards to uh women apparently not sleeping with people who protect them that's kind of the vibe that i got there from this uh, oh you this know it's, it's their choice if they don't want protection, they can go on a subway and get yeeted. I don't care. Well, do you recognize that, like, when you say that this woman with the headphones on is acting entitled to security and protection, that's mm -hmm. not actually bad? Like, we, we all, as American citizens, are actually entitled to a level of security and protection. So if some, like, homeless dude is waving a knife, acting a fool, are you just going to sit there and ignore him? You feel uh, like you're, no, you're going to be protected? But if that man acts in a way that is violent towards you... Then okay. what your what happens is the law steps in because the American legal process makes sure that we are to a degree entitled to security and protection. And if somebody violates oh, that security, yeah. then they will face legal repercussions. Yeah. So where was the law when that lady was getting assaulted on the subway? Uh, I'm not saying there's like a police officer that's magically going to appear. I'm saying yeah. that if your vi or if your security is violated, it will lead to legal repercussions for the person that violated. Yeah, down the down the road for sure yeah but like if you're getting stabbed no one's there to help you 
you might get stabbed and bleed out and the hobo will go to jail. The law took care of its job, though. So right. I, I mean, yeah, you, you can. Stabbed. There are a lot of people that do call the cops when homeless people are acting, um, you know, violent or, or threatening towards people, which is, I think, a good thing. I just think that this woman sitting here with headphones on, not engaging mm -hmm. with some kind of a, a dramatic altercation. How is that entitlement? Like how she, th she, think, she thinks that she's going to get protected by people. And if she, the thing is, if she didn't have that entitlement, if she was aware that there's not going to be people to step up and protect her, she would have removed herself from that situation. Now, didn't you just make fun yeah. in this video of the person who did get up and try to walk away? Oh, I was making fun of her because, you know, I'm using her as a step in for all Western women. Well, you but also she, said like, oh, me. LOL, this is the failures of, of multiculturalism. It seems oh, yeah, as it though is. if somebody yeah. gets up and moves away from somebody acting crazy, then that's yeah. just multiculturalism's fault. But then oh, when somebody know, stands that. there and doesn't actually do anything because they don't mm -hmm. want to get involved, that's them acting entitled. It sounds as though yeah, no matter what happens, you're, you're basically setting this up so the woman in the situation can never win. You're taking the causes for this entire incident and you're saying it's basically their movements. I didn't say that. Her well, you're stepping you're up trying to, to predict their away. thoughts. So you're telling me this woman thinks that somebody's going to just protect her. We have no evidence well, of that. We have no be, reason to be, believe that. Why would she be sitting there? Why would she be sitting there all calm when someone's acting crazy next to him? Maybe she didn't hear because of her giant headphones on? She's just oblivious. She doesn't think sitting on the subway is a dangerous activity. When this uh, is I've gone on the subway before and I like to wear headphones. So it's quite possible that she was simply wearing headphones, didn't quite realize what was going on. And... Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't she actually get up and remove herself from the situation when she did realize what was going on? On the video I watched, maybe afterwards. Okay. I just, yeah. I'm not sure how you can, you know, blame multiculturalism for, for one second and then oh, turn well, this around blame and blame, blame the woman being entitled. That's this. Yeah, well, no, I can blame a lot of things for this. And multicultural degenerate shitholes like New York City, that stuff happens all the time. They Why is multiculturalism Japan. considered degenerate? Oh, it's degenerate because it degenerates its values because you have competing cultures and competing values. Um, perhaps. People have no but, culture. Well, that, well, America's never really had like one unified culture. It's always mm, been it's kind of a pretty, spread out a, view of... It had of a pretty strong walk culture. culture for a couple hundred years and then it started changing. I just feel like you're you're painting with a very broad brush here when you invoke multiculturalism. Multiculturalism has also brought immense benefits to this country, whether we want to talk about our, our uh, massive and dominant um, economy, whether we want to talk about the various different uh, options we have in regards to food or even products because of multiculturalism, not to mention crime overall is slowly but surely going down. It's decreasing. So there's That's that. That's all due to multiculturalism. But well, no, it's not due to multiculturalism, but when you're saying right. multiculturalism is contributing to some degeneracy of our, our civilization, that doesn't mm. actually seem borne out by the data. And then the well, latter part know, of the argument I wanted to say mm -hmm. is that why would you just attribute this to multiculturalism just because, like, it's a black guy? You realize this is just as bad as the stupid fucking feminists who see one man doing something offensive or, or harassing and then say <laughs> men are bad. I think you just misgendered that, that trans woman, Hunter. Do you want to disavow that? You called it a guy. Why? Are, okay, so this is what you did in your video, too, where you would try to, uh, you know, make up pretend arguments to instead... No, that's not a pretend argument. You're, you're the side that if someone disgenders someone, it's evil. So disavow, you really? misgendered that Really? Did I ever that say that it's... Did I, one, did I ever say it's evil? Two, where's your evidence that this is a trans woman? Oh, she's got fake tatas and she's walking around in tights with a wig on, so... Uh, okay. Well, either way, I'm not sure how you could see a black person and then attribute this to multiculturalism. Do you realize that this is just as bad as what some of the crazy feminists on Twitter do in regards to seeing one man acting bad, and then they start blaming all men for this? It was more of a commentary on the multiculturalism of New York City. I was making that video to talk about the downfalls of multiculturalism. I don't really talk about that too much. It's too obvious. But like this, you isn't say, a, economy this isn't play, an example of downfalls of multiculturalism. Like, do you know well, that, I mean, you know there are world, white guys that act really that fucking kooky on, on subway trains sometimes, right? Right, someone what? You know that sometimes there are white guys who act really fucking insane also, right? Yeah, and, I would, and, I would, and that would also be a downfall of multiculturalism. It's not just, it's white and black. I'm not sure what you think I mean when I say that word. You said multiple cultures, which does yes. that not imply multiple ethnicities mingling together in the country. That's what it means when you say multiculturalism I mean, it could be by the definition it could be, of the word. 
Yeah, well, it could be multicultural if it's a bunch of different white people coming together. Like right now, this is a multicultural exchange. We have someone who's not a feminist exchanging with a feminist. It's a multicultural exchange. You and I right now? Yeah. Do uh, so you think white people so are monoculture? Wait, 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 wait. When you say multiculturalism, that mm -hmm. means mixing together racial groups and ethnicities. It's not multiculturalism no, it to have no, people it's, with it's, different it's, political it, beliefs. By that it's, it's not multi-ethnicity, it's multiculture. Wait, cultures. is it, was America before immigration was, uh, um, you know, before immigration started booming here in this country, was America multicultural because we had Democrats and Republicans and people that disagreed with each other in, in the terms of politics? I guess if you go down to it and you think political differences are completely different cultures, sure, I want to consider political differences um, big enough to be a culture. Wait, you just said that mm. this is a result of multiculturalism because a feminist is talking to a non-feminist. This is a di di uh, disagreement in regards to politics. This has nothing to do with culture, race, or ethnicity. So before well, feminism is definitely a culture. Before the we whole, started you know. allowing, hold on, wait. Before we started allowing immigrants into this country, was there mm. still multiculturalism in America? Because there were people that disagreed uh, it, heavily again, with it, politics? It, again, it depends on what you define as a culture. Some people look at a bunch of white Christians who are farming and they might have different agreements on how they want to spend the money and the debt. Well, that's two different cultures. You have the urban culture, the rural culture. But in today's day and age, multiculturalism, I will agree with you, it typically goes to importing foreigners into your country, usually Western countries who are accepting of different cultures. So there was then multiculturalism pretty much since the beginning of America, right? Because people disagreed on politics. It sounds like that's you what take you're out saying a bigger, right If you take out a big enough magnifying glass, but when we talk about multiculturalism today, we're talking a much larger scale. We're talking about people who are filling the streets of Minneapolis to do their prayers five times a week. Okay, five well, we, I, I'm more than happy to talk about that in a minute, but I, I just don't want to back off this point yet because you said mm -hmm. you and I having disagreements in regards to feminism is a result of multiculturalism. You and no, I have no, disagreements about a lot of other things we as have well. Disagreements about our culture. You are a cultural feminist. Feminism isn't just I think women should vote. It's an entire system of weakness that has perpetrated your entire body. We're oh, completely okay. different. Before we before we go off on that though, when you're saying multiculturalism, what is stopping somebody from the beginning of America saying, dude, Democrats, it's like they have their own fucking culture. All right, they see everything mm -hmm. as being weak. They want to change everything about America. Was that because people had disagreements, a form of multiculturalism in America? Again, you can use multiculturalism in a lot of different ways. You can look at it as large ethnicities and cultures. You can look at it as religions. The Catholic, the Irish Catholics had a very different culture than the Protestants in New York City. Was that a multicultural city? If you're talking about terms of religion, sure. Okay, so, okay, fine, that's just, that's just what I, I just wanted to move off this point. Now it sounds like we're in agreement then that so long as there are disagreements in regards to politics, religion, really anything, that could be considered multiculturalism. Okay, multiculturalism is just a tool to discuss differences in groups of people. I'm not talking about what, if it's a tool or not, I'm talking about the way in which you just defined it. So then multiculturalism about could be, it could be considered multiculturalism. If I'm there are about, multiple groups tool. of people that disagree you, you with each other. Use, you can use a hammer to put a nail into a table. You can use a hammer to take a nail out of the table. You are saying I'm defining a hammer as something to just put a nail in a table. You can use it to take it out of the table too. No, no. You, you can use it I, I recognize that it's a tool and I'm fine talking about that. I'm just trying to get us to agree with this part so that we can move on to further parts of the conversation. It sounds like what you're saying is even back in the day, there were Irish religious people and Catholics, so they disagreed. Mm. They had an ideological disagreement, which you are saying is a form of multiculturalism. So yeah, that multiculturalism is disagreements with people a form of multiculturalism? Yeah, but it's not as bad as the current multiculturalism pushed by feminists and liberals. Okay, cool. So there, there was still a level of multiculturalism, just not as bad. That's fine. I can I can... Sure. Okay, fine. So I can go with that. The problem is then is that you can't really use multiculturalism as an explanation for virtually anything because you are never going to exist in a society where every single person is like a copy-pasted NPC who all have mm. the exact same beliefs. According mm. to what you're saying, so long as there are people who think freely and have the freedom to th express those different thoughts, there will always be some form of multiculturalism. I mean, Alabama is a pretty multicultural area except they have a different multiculturalism than the UK. Not a lot of bombings in Alabama, are there? 
Not a lot of people blowing themselves up for Allah, is there? You're you're pivoting to something else. I, I oh no, I'm, I'm explaining. You're like, well, you can't use multicultural because you know people have different ideas. Yeah, there's a lot of people with shit ideas. Bringing them in, so people it's accepting them in. Women and leftists are so pushing it's the different ideas. So it's the different ideas and the disagreements in regards to political ideologies or religious ideologies that you are mm -hmm. considering multiculturalism. Why is it so hard for you to just say yes? Because you're wrong. So why then did you say that you and I talking and having disagreements is a result of multiculturalism? Because I thought we were getting were somewhere raised, and now you're you walking raised, it back. Because you were raised in a culture of weakness and you bought into it. And so we're going to disagree about women getting attacked on a subway, which is much more interesting than talking to you about multiculturalism and the definition of You words. said it was a result of multiculturalism. So I'm trying to understand how you define multiculturalism. multiculturalism. It's a result of feminism. I, you might just love talking about this, but I find this conversation extremely boring. I, I do too, because you, you're you right. refusing already. We've been talking for 12 minutes and you're refusing to even like acknowledge the first point you, so that we can move refusing, on to the second part. You, you are refusing to accept we disagree about something. I need to agree with you. I agree about. that we disagree. We agree on that okay, part. Let's, let's, but let's I'm asking you if, you're a tr if you are considering the disagreements a form of multiculturalism because that's what you said before. The anti-feminism versus feminism. You said people coming to our country with different ideas and values. It sounds like what you're saying are, is disagreements equals multiculturalism. Different cultures equal multiculturalism, Hunter. Okay. So and they have disagreements. So, so the, the disagree, cultures, well, how are you defining those cultures then? Are they defined by the ethnicity and the race or the values it's associated? By the culture, bro. <laughs> it's the fucking word. Please, let's move on. I'm, I'm starting it sounds, to get extremely bored about it. Sorry. It sounds like you don't know how to define the, the word. Let me go and just define it. I don't think you know what the word means. I don't know if you understand what multi means or cultural means. No, I do. It's in the word. It's the presence of or support for the presence of several distinct cultural or ethnic groups within a society. Cultural. So well, cultural by you groups. even classifying it as like different values, that's already kind of a, a, a pivot away from the original definition. Well, it so it is culture. actually talking about ethnicity. What's well, culture? You know, we can't define it. People have much different definitions for it. Culture usually you refers to, to be you're right, that there's definition. certain... No, no, no. Culture usually does refer to a degree of, you're right, values, lifestyles, ways you present yourself and express yourself. Culture, I'm not denying, is a multifaceted thing. But when you see a black person acting kooky on a subway and then say, this is a result of multiculturalism, and then I ask you, how is this multiculturalism? Or are you saying just because there's a black guy, that's like multiculturalism? And oh, you no, said, no, it's different the, values. The multicultural icon and there's a shithole. Um, okay, cool. So it's, it's, it's not, not, so, it's not like the black guy is just looking at this uh, slightly darker white girl and be like, well, I'm a different coach. I'm going to attack her. No, this. Oh, God, I just misgendered her. It's because this trans woman was having some kind of violent gender dysphoria incident. Someone probably called her a man, and she just had to pop off. She's not thinking about culture. Then why, did you, say, about then culture. why did you say that this is a result of multiculturalism in your video? Was that like a Because multiculturalism is used to turn the weak masses, disarm them, let them take this abuse. And You're telling me what, it, what it's used for again, but you yeah. just said that... It's not a result now of multiculturalism that this black person was acting crazy on the subway. Then why did you say it was a result of multiculturalism in your video? Are you walking back what it's you like, said in the like, video? It's like me saying I use fertilizer to increase yields of a crop and you see this corn with two spuds on it. You're like, oh, this is, this is clearly a result of fertilizer. Well, maybe, maybe not. Multiculturalism turns the population into weak. So you're debunking what you people. said in your own video then. Let's go back and listen to the quote. Hold on. Nervously scoop. Nervously scoop. Except. Because this is where I, I disagreed with you a lot. So let's. Well, we're supposed to be talking about women, but you want to talk I know. About we will. No, no, no. We will. We will. Come on, girl. You, nervously you gonna, scoot. Like nervously minutes, scoot. Man. Except you're multicultural. Hmm. Let's see. Please scoop, except your multicultural, multilingual, um, nobody cares about each other, multi-ethnic society on the subway. Oh, wow, you even said multi-ethnic society on the subway also. So, yes, yeah. you are contributing this crazy black person mm. to multiculturalism. 100, I 100% said that. It's 100% multiculturalism. It's not because they went crazy in a video. Not sure. Okay, so you're saying that this thing that happened on the subway was partially a result of multiculturalism, right? A lot of different things going on to this. Multiculturalism. Why are you so weaselly? Um, just fucking answer. I'm not trying to trap you. I'm oh, literally why, just trying why, to why understand. Are so simple? Why are you such a simpleton? You need a thing to be, you need to be A equals B. You need one input. 
No, actually, I'm man, just going off of what input. you said in your own video, which you attributed this do you issue. Think I'm gonna, wait, do you think I'm going to go on a video and explain every single variable and factor explaining why a beautiful trans woman had a gender dysphoric incident? So now you're subway? weaseling off what you said in your video. Oh, again. And I'm, I'm explaining why you have a poor argument. You're hyper focusing on one thing. I'm trying to just we get to an agreement with this thing. part so that we can then move to talking about the whammy. Okay? We don't need to agree to move on, Beta. We, we don't. We, we don't need to agree necessarily, but but I'd like to know that we are at least operating in the same reality. So when you say just accept the result of your multicultural, multi multilingual, nobody cares about each other, multi-ethnic society, it sounds yeah. like you are attributing this issue with this black person acting crazy to in multiculturalism. In, yes in or no? No, 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 no. It doesn't mean you're hyper focusing on the one thing that gets you all jimmies up, right? No. I'm, ta I'm saying this entire society that has all those qualifiers, this is what you get. So those qualifiers are attributed to multiculturalism, which is a multi-ethnic, uh, multilingual society. Of the society. Excuse me? Uh, it's multicultural. Multiculturalism is one of the qualifiers of the society. I said a couple other ones too. What was another part of the society? Well, in New York City, you can't arm yourself. So um, disarmament, gun culture, right, or lack of a part of it um, okay closing down the mental asylums okay then i guess that. i guess we can we can just move on to the the women but just let it be known for everybody listening that you literally just like backed off your own position I don't, like yeah that's you, what that's what you interpret it as i'm reading like, you, your words right here you on think, screen you think, my friend do you think men become women what does this have to do with anything beta because, i'm asking you if you can please stick sure to what you because, said and you're already walking need, back because you're saying need to operate in the same reality do you think a man can become a woman uh this is irrelevant for the sake of the conversation and i'm not no, i'm, I'm not I going make to sure buy in operate, i want to make sure no, no, we no, can no, operate no. in the this, same reality hunter hold on we're not here to have a conversation about trans people we're here to have a conversation uh, about women we're not and you're attributing part of the issue with currently means, women the the uh issues that you perceive as being uh partially because of women also on multiculturalism so i'm trying to ask we're not here what is multiculturalism? And you're so saying, not, no, it doesn't mean multiple ethnicities or so anything, but that's exactly what you said in your right, video. Right. We're not here to have a conversation about trans women, but we're here to have a conversation about what multiculturalism means, not about women and feminism, just multiculturalism. You're saying that part of the problem and part of the reason that this issue exists with feminism even is result of multiculturalism. That's what you said to me at the beginning of this conversation. I think feminism led to the obsession with multiculturalism. So what is multiculturalism? Multiple cultures. I've said it again. So does that culture also include uh, different it's ethnicities? A dictionary. Does that also include multiple ethnicities? Those ethnicities had different cultures. Okay. So yeah, it, it just sounds like you're you're like it's hardcore weaseling, but it's okay. We we can move on. I mean, yeah, I, I get it. It's I, all right. I, you're you're I, acting I like, like a massive beta already. So. It's no, no, right. I'm asking you to just like further explain what you said in your own video, but I understand as a beta, you like have to kind of back off of it and you're Ooh, kind of scared. I'm so I get beta. it. Okay. I mean, yeah. that's all right. You, I mean, I look at you and I hear your voice and I smell the weakness. Okay. Oh, I'm not going cool. to talk about that. It sounds like only a beta would determine if somebody's strong or weak based on like how their breath smells. That's kind of weird. But what's a, what's a beta? Let's go ahead and talk about women now. A beta is, oh, uh, okay. if you want to find out what a beta is, just go look in the mirror and you're, you're all set. Oh no, I'm back on the middle school playground. <laughs> so, oh yes, yeah, says the guy who was laughing at a woman being harassed on a subway. Oh, that's the people don't do that in middle school. Do you think kids, that kids are typically do you, more like? Do you think that I'm the one who typically makes the playground insults here, or really like? Well, you just made one. Well, yeah, you're no, the one you who. Okay, one. you know what? I'm content then making a a playground insult in regards to somebody who's too fucking beta to acknowledge yeah. what they said in a video like you, you keep on oh. like squirming away from it and it's really cringe i keep on defining words for you and you get upset yeah you say you multiple know. you said multiple cultures and i said does that I include ethnicities is multiple cultures and then you're like you're weaseling and the culture <laughs> also implies that there's a multi-ethnic layer to that that's what the definition of multiculturalism means that's why well, i wanted to start with that think, right you, you gotta you gotta trust what the google says uh no cool. did you, wait 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 did you not just say you're gonna send me a dictionary I'm reading That's from the Google. dictionary. That's not Google. You need Google to find your dictionary. This is from the Oxford cool. Dictionary, dude. Ooh. Did you Google it or did you have it in front of you? D so now I need a physical book? Okay, Grandpa. I'm just saying you trust okay, what Grandpa. Google says. I, I didn't realize, Grandpa, that you know, back in your yeah, day, people okay, actually okay, read okay, from pages. Okay, boy. 
okay, boy, you don't understand what I Back mean. Back in my day, people would actually stuff. use books. Nowadays, it's all the internet. All right, Grandpa, we get it. It's so Google let's go ahead and talk about. Uh huh. Yeah. Believe. Yep. It's exactly that. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know what? I'd rather. Yeah, you type, I hear your ticket like, what is multicultural mean? <laughs> I t uh, wait, wait, wait. What is wrong with defining the word of something to make sure that we're you know on the same page with this? Is wh why are you trying to insult that? Because you don't know what the definition is. You got to. Neither do you. You, you keep backing off the fact that it's a. Multi I am using the, the the. I'm using the structure of the word multi cultures to tell you what it means. Yes, but the culture, the multiculture also includes uh, includes a multi-ethnic side of things, which is why you attributed a black person making a woman uncomfortable to multiculturalism. You know you this, you're being weasley. You, you and they, lastly, I'll say, could, I would oh, much- you're projecting your racism Hold on, hold on. Me. I would you. much rather actually have uh, you know, my, some of my, my thoughts motivated by what I read from a dictionary than have my thoughts and ideas motivated from just pure, like, incel virgin energy and a hatred of women, Ooh. which is kind of what comes from you. Ooh. So it's it's, it's so just virgin. really cringe like that. But why don't but we get off the insults now? Let's let's take a step Alpha, back from insulting Alpha, each other. I got a question for you, Mr. Alpha. Sure. This is actually it's not a, it's not like a insult question. Mm -hmm. Would you do with your alpha masculine energy if this happened on a subway in front of you? Um, I don't know. What would you do? Move to the next car. Okay, cool. So let's talk about women now, well, since you've you, desperately you been wanting to move do. over to that. I, I, the, 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 hold on, right you're, you're, what, what you're asking you right now are irrelevant questions because you know no, that you don't want to get to the, the next subject. Incident. No, we're talking about the subway incident. I think I would love to find out what you would do if a beautiful woman was getting assaulted on the say some subway took cars. You, uh, I genuinely don't know what I would want to do. I mean, what I would what would be the correct thing to do, at least morally, would probably be to at least tell the person to fuck off. Uh, what I hmm. would actually do myself, I genuinely don't know. I've been on the subway before and seen some pretty creepy people. There was this once really creepy uh, white guy who was all drugged up, acting insane. And uh, I beating off? I mainly just, uh, no, actually, no, this this was a different Good. situation. I, thankfully, you weren't on that subway, so that's why the guy wasn't beating <laughs> off. But, um, usually, I don't go on subways. You see, I don't use public transportation because I run into betas and feminists. That's so cool. So but that. anyway, what I would do is probably what I would what I would probably end up doing is just try to stay out of the way, maybe call the police if, if things get violent. Um, but yeah, this is the thing is that okay. you're, you're sort of trying to like quiz me on, on a personal thing when uh, oh, this I think really important. has no relevance on whether or no, not I, you want to talk I about women. I think you can elucidate whether or not you're alpha enough to defend a woman you don't know. Well, didn't you say that you wouldn't do that in your video? So aren't you implying that you're the beta? No, I'm thinking you're an alpha, right? You want to defend women that you don't know. Did think I? That's, I see that as a turbo beta move, but since you are the ultimate simp, you are a feminist, you think it makes you a big, strong boy if you defend a woman you don't know. Did you not? Did, kind of are you okay? Did, you. Did, did you like, did you already get high? Are you forgetting what I just said? Because I said that the right thing to do oh, would yeah, probably you you be to tell the person to fuck off, it. but I would most What's likely the... want to stay out of the way, and then I might call uh, the cops no, I, if things start to get violent. Said. I just kind of assumed that you want to protect women because there's some or simp within you trying to get some pussy for once no i don't Not want to day. protect women i want to protect people in general i'd like to see you know everybody here in america happy living uh happy healthy safe lives to be honest right. it's, it's not just so about maybe women, we'll think but... what it is is you just don't have the capacity for violence to defend people what are you talking about right now you said you'd walk away you want to you want to defend people but if someone's getting beaten on a subway i didn't say defend i said i want to make the world a better place for those people you realize okay. what that means you, is that pushing okay. for, for advocating for certain policies that can make the world better uh advocating what, against a lot of the kind of bullshit that you preach in regards to like this toxic what kind of policy kind of can shit? you advocate for in a subway that makes someone stop beating someone up uh i don't know you could have more security cameras yeah. first to make sure that you actually are able to capture if a uh, crime takes right. place you could have right. something there that uh, i don't know maybe like a button kind of like a fire alarm that alerts the authorities mm -hmm. and this is just me talking out of my ass again you're you're trying to pivot from like the actual oh, no i'm not trying to pivot i'm trying to go deeper into the issue because you want to defend well you don't want to defend people you just want a better world whatever I, that means i I'm Wait, saying, what would you, you do too want a better world. That's why you rail against feminism and multiculturalism because you believe that's doing harm to the world. So I don't know why you're using that as an insult me. against me. It's doing harm. No, it's not. I'm not saying it's an insult. You want a better world. You have these, um, how should I say? You have these goals. If you say, I want to push for a better world, I think most people would, you know, like, oh, that's a good goal. That, that sounds nice. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That, that's the oh, thing, though. That's why it's it's obviously much more nuanced, because what does that mean? That's the whole separate conversation. I'm not, right? I'm, not in, I'm, not, I'm not trying to insult you for wanting a better world. I'm just saying if you don't have the capacity for violence, you don't have the capacity to protect people in individual situations. Uh, okay. 
I'm again not sure what this has to do with really anything. But oh, yeah, we can go ahead and move on. You, well, I literally said I wouldn't do that. Why? Are you, why do you keep accusing me of saying things that I didn't say? No, no, I'm not. I didn't accuse you of anything. I literally just repeated what you said. I said uh, the correct thing to woman, do in that hypothetical correct. would be to tell say the person your, to fuck what, off. What I personally would do sister. is probably stay out of the way. And what's if it's your sister, if you have a sister, or your mother, or some close woman to you, and they're getting attacked? What would you do? Um, probably I would want to step in more at that point, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that makes sense. You would defend people you're close with. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, of course. This, I, I don't know what the point is that you're trying to make. I'm saying you protect people who are in your life. People you don't know, I'll oh, like, fuck off and move away. Yeah. Yes, kind of like that's that, how we? a lot of people work in the the world currently. Of course, yeah. I most likely wouldn't want to actually risk my life or, or risk a, a potential for violence or danger. Um, mm -hmm. If that's some like random person on the subway, I would still want them to get help, and that might involve me calling the police. So that way, I'm not putting mm -hmm. myself in danger. Instead, I'm calling someone who is liable to put themselves in danger. Do so you think of someone? What is wrong with this? I guess. I guess we'd have to see because I haven't seen the evidence for or against. But I would assume that some random person attacks some random person, a more monoculture, mono ethnicity, like some train in Japan. I think a lot more people would step up to break it up instead of just walk away. Because in this subway, everybody walked away. And there was another famous subway story. I think it was Philadelphia. A woman actually got graped, like five train stops, and people didn't do anything. But would you do anything if a woman was getting graped? Or would you, besides call the cops, like, would you physically intervene? Well, I, if I'm actually more curious on what is your overall point? Do you think that, like, people don't care about each other in this country because of multiculturalism or because of women? Like, what exactly is the, the root uh, problem you know, here it, in your mind? There's probably a, a million different ways you can say, it. well, people don't care because, you know, we might talk to a Christian and be like, people don't care because they don't love God. You'll talk to someone obsessed with ethnicity. But people don't care because their skin colors are slightly off. Or you'll talk to someone obsessed with, um, I don't know, but it's like uh, progressive policies. People don't care because mental health is, is ignored, whatever it is. I'm just saying, I'm just noting that people don't care. I don't have the, I don't have the exact okay. reason for sure. why. I mean, that's, and you're right. There, there is definitely like a lack of care that I think a lot of uh, people have. Uh, I don't know if this is just, you know, exclusive to America. I know for a fact it would happen some other place in the world too, but I think that going about addressing how we can fix this is also a really important thing to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. So like a lot of what you did in your video here was um, kind of like incriminate the women. You were blaming women for mostly all the problems. You said that the feminism said they don't need a man, so that's why nobody no. was protecting them. I, I just feel like you're, you're making a lot of assumptions and assertions you, when in reality, yeah, well, well, hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's actually your yeah. attitude, for example, that is Ooh, doing a lot of yes. harm, not just on oh. general society, but it's actually doing harm to you. Because well, the, thing, the, the thing is, well, I'll explain. The thing is, is I care about men also, all right? I'm, I'm not like a, you know, I, I'm not just like a cheesy little blue haired feminist. I actually want the world to be a better place, not only for women, but also for men. And your type of attitude where you perceive the women as being just conniving or entitled actually mm. does far more harm to yourself. There are studies mm. I could send you, I'd be more than happy to if you'd like, a study shows that when men are engaged in these kinds of behaviors and have these sort of thoughts against women, that Police actually behaviors. results in negative mental health for them and a higher propensity right. to engage in drug use. What are, what are these behaviors? Uh, the type of behaviors that you were engaging in, right in your video as far study. as... As, you could say that, but I need to know what the study's talking about. But sure, I'll pull it up. Do you have a girlfriend or a wife? Yeah, I'm married with two kids. Uh, so, like, if your wife was getting assaulted, you defend her, right? Yes. Uh, well, she has a man. The woman didn't. So you prove my point by saying you defend her. These women didn't have a man. Wait. They weren't defended by a man. There you go. So what if she had her father with her and her father defended her? Does that mean that the woman needed the man? Like, what, what is the point you're trying to make? She here? had a man there. She had a man who had some kind of relationship What if with it's her, her sister who's more muscular and steps in and fights them? Well, then she had a friend or a sister. She had family, you know. I don't understand women what the point is that you're trying to make right up. now. What is oh, the, the point, point I'm trying, trying to make? make is you're saying I was blaming this woman for not having a man. If you were married to her, you'd step up and defend her. No, no, no. I, so okay, let me let me make this more clear then. I, I wasn't just saying you're blaming the, the woman for not having a man. I mean your overall attitude towards the woman in this video, especially the one who didn't even react or do anything. You were like, mm. you know, she's acting entitled. It seems as though you have this perception and idea of a lot it of is, women is, that they are entitled and that it they are, are very, very just, you know, conniving. Oh, no, no, no. Entitlement isn't bad. When I go to a restaurant, I feel entitled to a glass of water. 
Hopefully I get the glass of water. If you're in a functional, healthy society, you should feel entitled to some sort of protection and safety. So then so why would you make fun of that woman for mean, feeling It's not entitled. a negative connotation. I don't, it's not something that's bad. She thinks she lives in a healthy society. She doesn't. She feels entitled to safety. She, she doesn't have any kind of entitlement to it. Look what's happening on the train. Wait, so why then would you make fun of her for, quote unquote, acting entitled be, for just like sitting there? I, don't I make understand. fun of everybody. I make fun of everybody because it's you funny. You made fun of she her specifically for acting because, entitled. Because so I'm wondering she why you think that's a bad to thing. Safety. Because she thinks she's entitled to safety and ignoring the situation while another woman's getting beaten. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm entitled to safety. This chick over here, help me. Ah! Do you think in it's your hilarious. video where you act like, you know, I shouldn't have to help anybody unless I'm going to get some pussy, do you think that that's acting entitled as well? Oh, because I, what, what? Am I entitled to pussy? No. But are they entitled to my protection? No. There you go. I ought to protect them and they don't have to give me pussy. It's fair. This is feminism. So you would only protect somebody for exchange of pussy i mean where well, let me find the exact quote you said if she's not like draining me every night then let's see if i can if i can just find the direct quote here because we watched this a little bit earlier um hold on. and then i'll go over the study with you too if you're not draining me every night i'm not bleeding mm -hmm. for you we don't care about you hoes i'm not putting anything on the line to protect you Zero. you don't think that this sounds like slightly entitled to a degree because oh, I'm telling I'm tell well, hold on. I'm can I, can I explain why your argument is fatally flawed here is because you saw oh. a woman sitting there doing absolutely nothing and you asserted what she was thinking, even though you have no idea. You read that as being entitled. And then you went on to say, I don't have to help anybody unless they give me their body. So in exchange, you're actually saying that you are in a way entitled to them while only perceiving entitlement from the woman. Do you understand the problem yeah, no. there? Well, I mean, if I'm going to bleed for someone, I'm entitled to their body. Yeah, because they're entitled to mine because I'm bleeding for them. You see, that's entitlement. Okay. Right? You feel entitled because if you die, if you want to die for this woman, she should at least give you her body. That's entitlement. You should die without any pussy. I don't that's think you should die. You're talking about like stepping up and, and telling them to like fuck off or, or try well, to, you know. Potential to well, that's not using your body. You're just telling them to fuck off. I'm no, no, you're saying if you are – Okay, yeah, there's so many contradictions. I don't even know what the fuck, where to go at, because you're also were complaining well, it's hard, about... You know, it's hard to talk about violence with someone who has zero capacity for it. Oh, so exactly. Well, okay, yeah, so, so funny. You're, you're so cool. But it's funny because no, you also are saying, like, you, you, nobody's you, you nice to anybody capacity. anymore. We're, we're living in a, a collapsing society, but, like, you're simultaneously saying that you wouldn't do anything except for pretty much just make fun of the woman getting harassed. Why would, why would I do anything? I get nothing from the exchange. So you know, I say stuff, why I say should she like do anything for me. you no, or any anything yeah. else if she's not getting anything in exchange? She's already not doing anything for me. So you're in a way contributing to the society being very uh, just I do negative think, I do people. things for women that drain me every night. I say something okay. like that and people will interpret it like, oh, you're entitled because you think after you protect her, she's going to give you pussy. No, I know that's not going to happen. I just don't get protection in the first place. But for a woman that does do that for me, she gets all the protection. I understand. I would protect her by not taking her to the shithole that's New York City. That's, okay. the, that's the first step of protection. Very cool. So let's let's try to get back on subject, though, is when you are perceiving women as being entitled, which, again, I think we can both agree that there was no way to actually demonstrate that that girl was acting entitled at all. Uh, I don't have a mind reader. So I you know. Can, you can, but you're the one that you can, asserted you, she was entitled. You don't, you don't I'm the have, one saying well, even if you – I'm the one saying her you, actions. Her actions was her actions. sitting there not doing anything. Yeah, if you were in trouble, if you were threatened, if you were aware of your situation, you would move yourself away from the crazy people. That's what you would usually do. I thought that – didn't she go on and do that eventually in the video? I guess, I guess you could say that she was just so used to this kind of craziness she was um, you know, blunted to it. So like, oh, this is, this is just another day on the New York subway system. Sure. Maybe if, she, if she's desensitized, fine, but I don't – okay, I don't know how you can see that as entitlement when it's somebody just sitting there. The point that I'm overall trying to make, though, is that even – hold on, wait. Just shut the fuck up for a minute because it's very oh, wait, obvious beta, calm down, that you – it's very obvious down, that when you see women in really any context, especially in a context where they're sitting there doing nothing, you are perceiving those women as being entitled. And that, in a way, is a misogynistic attitude because what you're oh, doing is you're words. perceiving women as being entitled, as being conniving, as being some kind of, of um, you know, all pushing Don't against men, mouth, hating men, all this kind mouth, of bullshit, the kind of stuff that you said in your video. And that, unfortunately, leads to a harm on you. 
So it says these findings suggest that misogynistic oh, attitudes are linked to poor health outcomes for men oh. and future research needs to further explore the te how temporary they are essentially and identify strategies for reducing men's misogynistic attitudes with the ultimate aim of improving the health and well-being of both hey, women and men. Me, uh, can you send me that link on Discord? Yeah, sure. It's usually when people do science and misogyny, it's a bunch of feminists just being bullshit, but I'm willing um, to be this, open to see who it did it. It seems as though this study was put together by multiple men, actually. But okay. And, they, and you think men can't be feminists? I just, I, I don't know. Like, if your excuse for this is, oh, all the studies are just biased because the feminists did it. Oh, then... no, 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 I didn't say that. I said typically when people talk about the studies about misogyny, it's used as a weapon. You know, you can do a study on anything. I could do a study on how Hunter Avalon doesn't satisfy his wife nine out of ten times. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. That oh, was that supposed to be an insult? Okay, yeah. It was a nice try though. Oh, it was, good, good it wasn't an insult because I said it doesn't mean anything. I just I mean, think that if I, I think that it. we need to I think we might want to just for the sake of, of argument here, because we are getting a little bogged down in the weeds. I think we need to take a step back from the like the, weed. the individual I like weed too, okay. <laughs> I think we need to take a step back from the the subway thing in general and talk more mm -hmm. about broader okay. things. When you talk about like what feminists say as far as disliking men and being against men. I would say that partially, you know what? You're right. There are definitely people, and there are definitely people that call themselves feminists, that act with misandry, that treat men badly, that act as if all men are bad. And you know what? I fight against those people because I think that those people are fucking stupid, and I think they deserve to be called out. But the problem is, is that there are also elements of feminism, even nowadays, that are pushing for a net positive, not only on society, but again, on men. And this is why you hear um, things like toxic what, masculinity. Can we, talk about one, can we talk about one of those? Like, yeah, so trying, toxic, okay, yeah, sure. yeah, trying to reduce Go. toxic masculinity, I would say. Okay. So like, what's that? Uh, toxic masculinity refers to the social expectations that are placed on men that usually mm. result in a harm to the man. So it's actually toxic to the uh, man. So like, let's talk about someone's expectations. Like, um, you shouldn't cry. Is that... I would say, yeah, that's definitely toxic masculinity. Yeah. Yeah. So who determines what masculinity is, who, who chooses who's masculine or not. I mean, masculinity is in and of itself a cultural phenomenon. So yeah. that's why masculinity so, like, has changed. Who's the largely. judge of, who's the, who rewards masculinity in society? Um, there's no one person that rewards masculinity. There's a group of people. There is, but it's, it. a, it's, a, hold on. I don't know what you're, you're trying to get out here. The facts yeah. of the matter are when men have emotions because men have the same amount of emotions as women. They might not express them uh, the same I ways, did, but men oftentimes have the sim a similar level of empathy and emotions as women. And when they are discouraged from expressing those emotions and instead they keep them bottled up or they feel that, you know, if they do cry or get emotional, that's a, a weak womanly thing to do that harms the mental health of the man. So, uh, we so it just probably want to change cry. that. I do you think that men should cry as much as women. Um, uh, no, I think that people should probably be crying in appropriate places, but that goes for men and women. Okay. But like uh, the amount of raw tears, do you think that men should be, I don't think it, to cry I, I don't know. It doesn't need like, to be 50, 50. What it is is that it, uh, we what need I'm to trying have to say is the group, what I'm trying to say is the group of people that reward masculinity is actually women. Women do not, when you cry in front of a woman or pussy gets super dry. So, you Again, know, an assertion dude, and a projection. Dude, you know, there are also like a lot of women that also say that it, it actually is really nice to see a man open up and, and be vulnerable. Dudes, right? If emotional dudes were attractive to women, men would be a lot more emotional. So you realize you're actually proving my point. Because if the ex expectation placed to, on oh, men right now or that... Hold no. on, can I, can I please explain? The expectation uh, so me, that is... Hold on, okay. shh. The expectation that is placed on men is that you shouldn't cry, you need to be stoic and tough, and if you do cry, that is feminine and girly. That is an Think expectation why. that we have socially Think constructed why. and placed on men. That one- Because women, it, because women don't think men that cry are hot. They do don't you think that has them. anything to do with the expectation we place on men and how women in the same society might perceive masculinity? I guess you could say, well, it's all cultural, it's all cultural. Oh, you change, change how women judge men. Go ahead. Wait, tell literally. Them, tell, you know, while, you're at, while, you're, while you're at it, tell them to date short dudes too. Change Wait, your expectations. Uh, hold on. 
you're, you're like talking in a circle and making no sense. So there exists right now an expectation that is placed on men that they shouldn't cry and shouldn't be emotional. That is a fact of the matter. You t yourself just acknowledged it. It is also a fact of the matter that when men suppress their very real emotions because they feel that it's going to make them not a man or not as manly of a man to express those mm -hmm. emotions, that is bad for their mental health. It leads to more depression. It leads to more oh, suicidality. Kinda, you, you there's, talk, hold on, shut up for one more second. There's a reason no, Hunter, why. Hunter, Hunter, you're not there's gonna a, tell me to shut hold up on. again, Beta. Shh, be quiet, Beta. No, no. Shush, hey, Beta. Beta, hold yeah, on, okay, you're, you're, hold on, Beta, your soy latte is ready, okay? Why don't you go get it for a minute boy. so I can finish? Come on, let, let me finish making my point, okay? Go get your soy latte, it's okay. So when we know for a fact that white men disproportionately commit suicide massively, Part of that can be attributed to the fact that men don't have proper outlets to one, express their emotions, and two, they're discouraged from expressing those emotions. Well, simultaneously, if a man is socialized to believe, simultaneously, if a man is socialized to believe that crying is a beta, weak, loser thing to do, and mm -hmm. women are socialized to believe that it's unmanly to cry, then yes, you're going to see some women be extremely turned off by men crying that's the toxic gonna, masculinity are you, are you, that's what we should get rid of change, for the betterment of men change women, are you going to change women's socialization you do it the same way you change men's socialization stop pushing mm -hmm. forward this idea that it is somehow a bad thing or a weak thing or a beta thing for men to express mm -hmm. emotions and cry then they get no pussy and they don't want they're not interested in that you're pathway. not understanding at all it's you're not understanding it's you're really not understanding sad. men you're I know not, you don't, you're not masculine enough. You don't deal with women. You're, you're you also like simultaneously life. being like the biggest simp here because what you're saying is that men mm. should compromise their mental health. They should bottle up their emotions just for pussy. Hey, maybe, I'm sorry. That sounds like, like a really simp audience, thing to do. Maybe dudes in your audience have to cry every day just to get through their pathetic lives. But like, see, there you're, you're talking you're about doing very it right now. Group of people. You're doing it right now. You're crying acting right as now. if crying. No, you're at, you're doing the toxic masculinity trait right here. You're acting I'm as actually, if yeah. crying or expressing emotion is somehow a loser thing to do. It's that attitude, that. right? You just I said they might have to cry every day for their pathetic loser lives. What crying, you're doing right crying, now is associating crying and crying with crying every day is completely different. You realize that, right? Do you it's think that associating that. crying with a loser pathetic life is not in a way. If you cry about your dog, it's okay. If you cry because Hunter Avalon's getting his penis slapped around, because I mean, that's all right. That's kind of strange thing to do. That's I don't creepy. think it's valuable. I'm not sure why you would want to slap my penis around. That's a little gay sounding. You might want to I need to have a microfiber to do so. Has the multiculturalism degenerated your brain? Is that why you're now acting gay? So let's go back to what right, I just said, being okay? Homophobic. When you said right, I'm being, being homophobic, homophobic towards so you, you're, yes. So you yep. misgendered a trans woman, and now you're being homophobic. Well, I'm oh I ex goodness, I'm okay misgendering and being homophobic towards you. So why, again, why you when you act as if partner, you have a platform, man. Hold on. Don't do that. Shut up. When you say you tell me to shut up again, that, I'm just gonna end the stream and just start making fun of your face, man. So you're gonna go beta mode? Just gonna go insult you because that's how you get women's attention. You shame them or feminine men. Got it. So. Again, when we're talking about attitudes that exist culturally, like men shouldn't cry, this leads to more harm for men. And here's the thing is in a paradoxical way, you are also leading to more harm against women as well. So I can send you another study if you'd like, which found how forceful and dominant men with these very traditional views of masculinity, this idea that women are a little more conniving and that men need to be tough and stoic, they're actually more likely to engage in violence against women. So the problem is, is that you're right when you say that there is a group of people that shit on men relentlessly and those people are dumb fucks. But when you push forward this idea of being a man, that includes being stoic, which results in more harm against women also, you're kind of in a paradoxical way contributing to oh. some of this distaste towards men. Yeah, so when I say stuff like don't cry often, it's not because you need to be stoic, talk to myself. It's just if you want pussy, don't cry in front of a woman. That's it. Do you think that that's a problem at all, that for men, they need to compromise their mental health for pussy? According to if you, you, if you want, if you want to make the choice to get pussy, I'm just giving the information of what you need to do. Whether or not they choose to compromise their mental health is up to them. Well, that I mean, that's what you're saying they should do. Or if you want, right. if you want to get pussy, sure. 
So what you're doing right now is you're you're basically just like this is how it is. So you might as well just keep doing it how it well, is, woman reacts, rather yeah. than again addressing the uh, the problem here, so that we can work to make the world a better place for men mind you i'm not arguing this because think of the wham and oh man i'm arguing this from a, a perspective of a man men need to have healthy outlets where they can express their emotions and you know what i think it's a really fucked up bad thing that if men want to get emotional and vulnerable with their partner that's somehow seen as well you're not getting pussy tonight bruh one that's not true oh, yeah, across so the board Two, the fact that it does even exist to a degree is further proof that this toxic masculinity thing needs to change. Yeah, so again, when you're out there changing the socialization, socialization of women, also tell them to get attracted to short guys. Then you'll get tons of money from short dudes. If I'm interested. I hope it, you know, maybe you could run a study. Maybe you can do that in your own children, you know, teach them to uh, push for the values you think. I don't, I don't understand think what you're, kind of, what is the... Well, you know, you want men to be open and cry if you have a son, push him to do that. Right, cry max kind of thing. So, again, I'm not saying that you should tell your son to just cry left and right. It's about oh, what, I said, what I said is put your values on them. I'd be very interested. I to am. See I already you, do. Yeah. I'm not going yeah, to shame good. my son if he gets emotional for something. I'm certainly right. not going to tell him that he's acting like a girl. And I'm not going to associate <laughs> girl and or woman as some kind of an insult. Yeah. So I already am living out those values. Again, I don't know why you're trying so to like, the number one way. Is no, it, no, is, no. are you a little jealous that like I have a wife and kids and you're bro, over here like a virgin no, bro, surrounded by nasty, empty bro. monster energy cans? Like, is dude, that the you, deal? Dude, your, so, your wife is nasty. She was a non-virgin at marriage. She's oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm not interested. So cool, are you, dude. Wait, are you upset that I don't want to fuck your wife? You want me to want to fuck your wife? What's up with that? That's some cuck energy, man. I mean, you were the one that just said you wanted to slap my penis around. So it sounds like, if anything, you want to fuck me. I'm doing but it right now. Why don't we go back really, really quickly? I'm, if no, you think that me responding to your dipshit kid. arguments is me getting upset, no, then I don't, I don't know what me, to tell you. I don't, think, I don't understand why you got so, like, pussy hurt about me talking about your kids. I was saying this is the number one way you can change toxic masculinity. Right? Yeah, and because th I'll tell you why. Because, one, it's kind of irrelevant. Because I'm talking about a broader not, cultural shift. No, it's, no, it's and not. two, it's kind of silly because you're trying to use this more or less as a gotcha. You also That's didn't say, no, it's not oh, a, just live out gotcha. your values, LOL. You said, go it's ahead, tell your, no, no, no. You said, go ahead and tell your son to cry. Be the cry max. That's what you said. And so what I'm saying is that it's not about telling somebody that they should cry. Just like we don't want to tell people they shouldn't cry. It's about removing the expectations and the strict, rigid uh, um, uh, rules, essentially, across the board. If my son wants to cry, that's okay. If my daughter wants to cry, that's okay. Do you agree or disagree? Do you think that it's, it's probably going to be for the betterment of society if men are able to be a little bit more in touch with their emotions? I brought up that whole idea is because you're going to have a much bigger influence on your children and family than society. I right? agree. And that's why I'm yeah. also going and to be so, doing that with my son. Yes. But I'm so, asking you if you generally just, agree with the, the broader sentiment that like there should be we should do away with this idea that you're not a manly man if you don't or if you do cry, if you express emotions like do you recognize that that's unhealthy and should probably be done away with? Well, it's I don't see it as a large problem. People who have had those fa those fathers in their households who are hyper dominant and don't let them cry over a dead dog, whatever it is, they think it's an entire it's the entire world. Everybody's going through this. I don't Wait, think it's a problem. No, there's multiple problems. So one, there's the problem of men. So what you're saying is, if you don't think it's it's a problem, you're ignoring the fact that men have a disproportionately high suicide rate, which is partially you think it's because they can't cry. It's Absolutely. It is partially because right. men don't have proper healthy outlets or proper healthy ways that they can express their emotions. We are all human here. We all have emotions. And that lack of ability to express the emotions does absolutely contribute to depression, anxiety, and suicidality. I can send you another article from the American Psychiatric Association if you don't believe me. So sure. there's a problem. Uh, I from, could just say divorce. I could say divorce is a huge reason men kill themselves. So we should uh, get rid of divorce. So stop that's a themselves. pivot and irrelevant. So well, no, that is a problem. About, that you, is you a, are saying the men suiciding. I'm gonna have to tell you to shut not up. Allowed to cry. I really don't want to have to tell you to shut up. Oh man, I don't want you to hang up and please do quit, it. I want to go back to roasting your pathetic life, bro. Come on, please say it. Magic word. Do you mean that you're gonna hang up on me on the call? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. So I, I will try to avoid then telling you that because I want to keep you here Damn so I can it. explain to uh, further explain why well, everything you're saying is like abominationally wrong. Yeah, so so what, real one, quick, you said, you hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not no, done yet. No, you, so no, you me, said that there's a problem. Let me finish my point. You please. said there's a Please. problem. Wait, I was not done yet. 
You said there was not a problem. I'm telling you right now that there absolutely is a problem when men are disproportionately killing themselves. One, because they cannot express their emotions. And two, it's a problem because you just said divorce. Do you think domestic abuse might contribute to divorce sometimes? Men with this perception of masculinity literally are more likely to engage in abuse against their partner, hence leading to more divorce. So if you care so about you're, men, you're, if you you're care about men not getting divorced, then you would be going with my perspective. But instead, you you're are, either too stupid or too arrogant using, to just simply you're, acknowledge this you simple are using fact. using the bodies of dead men to push your bullshit ideology, and I find it fucking disgusting. Oh wow! Like, oh, are you up on your high horse virtue signaling now? Themselves. Are you up on disgusting. your Are you up on your high horse virtue signaling now? That's really cute. I'm, my high horse. I'm not using the men, bodies you're of an emotional feminist beta bitch boy. So being emotional Surprise, is a bad you thing. Got two kids. I would DNA so, test so them. Being Maybe they're not yours. So being emotional is a bad thing then. Oh, you're being emotional. I'm being a little bit emotional. Okay, it's fine. an emotional conversation because you're using dead men as a shield. For I'm your not shit using. Hold on. And I find it disgusting. Wait, if somebody goes outside and shoots another person with a gun and that person dies, and then we say, you know, part of the reason that person died was because they were shot in the lung. Then is it fair for you to then say, you're using a dead human to prop up what you're saying? No, I'm explaining why men are disproportionately committing suicide. And it's because, hold on, using thousands it's because of people like you. It's because of people like you who oh. peddle this bullshit idea that if you even shed a single tear, then you're not getting any pussy, that your whole life should revolve around getting pussy, that you should compromise that. your oh. own mental health just oh. to get some pussy. You're the most beta simp oh. I've ever talked to. And it's funny because you projected on stuff. other people, I think but it's... Confused. I think you're getting confused about the way that in which your ideology your well, contributes cool. to the, suici the suicide rate of white males. Mm -hmm. So do you or do let's let's go through this with a simple like yes or no. So yes or no, is it bad for men's mental health to uh, uh, bottle up their emotions, even if they are having emotions and they're more or less forced to not express those emotions? Do you what's, think that's what's unhealthy? Mean, uh, what's bottled up mean? Not expressing their emotions, keeping them inside, letting them fester, and refusing to, mm -hmm. again, engage with somebody who you might trust, like a partner or a parent, to express these very real emotions. Yeah, that's the only way to deal with those emotions is expressing them and crying. Did I say that it was the only way? I'm asking no, if no, you I'm, think no, it's, it's bad for men, generally it's speaking. It's a question. Do you, it's a question. I'll answer yours when you answer mine. Is it well, bad I'm for men to, to if they refuse to here. express their emotions and instead keep them bottled up and let them fester? Good or bad? Yes Do or no? Do you think that men kill themselves because they can't cry? So you're not going to answer the question? You're being like oh, incredibly bad faith right thousands now. thousands of men dying are because they can't cry. I think it's just... Again, very, putting very words in my mouth. Wow. You're, you're actually that. like, you're, you're really right lost right now. Holy shit. It's funny because I didn't say that. I said it's partially. Talking, talking that is definitely a huge... It's very confusing. It's definitely sometimes. a big contributor for sure. But it's not yeah. the only reason men kill themselves. But you know what? Okay. It's a large reason. And this is the other reason why it's crucial is because the reason that I'm talking about is a cultural and societal norm, which we can change. So we have the ability to push against this kind of nonsense to let men know, hey, you're not any less of a man if you have emotions and want to express those emotions so long it's in an appropriate time and place, like at home with your partner, with a parent. Obviously, yeah. no man or woman should be breaking down, crying, freaking out, throwing a tantrum at work. That's obvious. Mm. But having a healthy outlet to express your emotions is crucial, and that is something that we as a collective can change because it's a societal norm and expectation. So even if there were other contributing factors, which again, I'm not saying this is the only 100% reason why men kill themselves, we can address those in a different ways. This is a, a problem that we are able to address collectively. So my question is again, do you think if men are constantly told that you're a man, you're not supposed to cry, bottle up your emotions, shut the fuck up, no son of mine, that kind of stuff, do you think that that does a harm to the man's mental health, yes or no? Having an abusive father hurt a, a son's mental health, sure, yeah. I didn't say abusive father, I said no son oh, of you're mine. Oh, you telling him to shut the fuck up and don't cry, bottle up your emotions. Would you Telling your son to, well, why is it a form of abuse? Isn't it good to not cry? Or is it you bad to tell somebody not to cry? Form, I, think you're just, I think you're just assuming my beliefs. I think we already live in a society where men are told it's okay to cry. 
And then those men that cry in front of their girlfriends, in front of women, they don't get as much pussy as the dudes who are stoic. So do you think that it's bad for a man to not cry, to instead bottle up those emotions because they've been taught, whether subtly or explicitly, mm. that it's unmanly to express emotions or to cry or they won't get pussy? They can express do you express emotions think that, at the gym. Do you think that it's unhealthy for a man's mental health if they bottle up their emotions? If they don't go to the gym, if they just sit inside and stew on it, sure. You're not answering my question. Oh, I just, I literally just said if they don't do anything to relieve those emotions, but crying is not the only way to relieve those emotions. Do you think that it's unhealthy to tell them that they're less of a man if they don't also engage or if they do also get rid of those emotions via crying and expressing emotion? I think it depends on where, where the crying is happening, right? If the kid's crying over his dog and the dad's just like, you're not being a man here. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's probably the worst. <laughs> that's some bullshit. But the kid's crying because, I don't know, the wrong TV show's on in daycare and someone's like, you're not being, you need to be a man. Why do you tell a kid that? Because a boy wants to be a man. Probably, yeah, say I would say, uh, I would say if someone, so if there's a little boy at daycare crying because the show's turned off, I think what you mm. should say is now is not the time to be acting this way. This is an inappropriate reaction to what's going on. You don't need to say, which is the Good. subtle, I, I, hold on, which is the yeah. subtle reinforcement of this shit, which is mm. be a man, stop crying, be a man, just mm. grow some balls. Obviously you wouldn't tell a kid at daycare that I guess, but you'd say <laughs> be, a, be a man, right? You'd say be a man yeah. and that kind of shit reinforces this idea that to be a man means to not cry and express emotion. So mm. I guess I'm going to have to ask you this 50 times till you, you muster up the strength to uh, answer. So I'll long as it's in the appropriate setting, you might do so day. long as it's yeah. in the appropriate environment, do you think it is healthy or unhealthy for men to bottle up their emotions and not you express cry. them because they think it makes them less of a man? Is that good or bad? You talking about the bottling or the crying? Is it bad for men okay. to bottle up their emotions? Is that bad for their mental health? Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, cool. So now that we've gotten to that part, you agree it's bad for their mental health. Shouldn't we also then, now that we acknowledge that, work to do away with some of these uh, you know, expectations placed on men that say, hey, don't cry, be a man? Oh. So it does a harm, but we shouldn't do away with it? Well, a man can cry by himself and can get those emotions out at the gym. So crying in front of people is not the only are, outlet for are, emotions. I, I know that. I'm not saying it's the only outlet. Mm -hmm. you, you seem incapable of a, a answering a question. And this is why I'm starting to think you're well, actually using like the, using very, 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 very long questions and all those qualifiers. You should just keep them short and simple. Okay. I'm using qualifiers because you keep on trying to change what I said to try and weasel out of answering trying, the question. I'm trying to find out what so you let really me go, mean. All right. Let me, I'll break beta, it down for we'll you one things, sentence. Right, okay, beta. So listen, sure. if okay, but a one. boy is in an appropriate environment, i.e. at home with his parents or if he's older, maybe with a partner, do you mm. think it is bad for that boy's mental health to tell them not to cry and to be a man? You're taking a boy in front of his parents and comparing it to a man in front of his lover. Oh that was my a very God. different situation. So you just said a boy with his partner. That was a completely different situation, Beta. Come on now. Let's keep it simple. You're so talking is about it bad for the boy? Same is it bad same. for the little boy? What? Sorry, you be broke a man. up. Oh, no, I'm, I'm thinking, like, be a man. Don't cry. Uh, it's bad for some boys, sure. Not in general. You can't say everybody is bad for. So you don't... Bad. So. So you don't think it's bad for boys' mental health to tell them not to cry and be a man? Are you not reinforcing this idea that to be a man, you must not cry? I guess this, the difference is you shouldn't cry about this. Be a man or be a man, never cry. Those are two different, you know, those are two different statements. Well, I think that you don't understand the way that socialization plays a big role. So, like, mm -hmm. you don't need to tell a little boy, never cry ever. You're not a man if you so much as get the sniffles. You don't need to say that to a little boy so long True. as that little boy grows up in an environment where it's more or less understood that you need to be a man and not cry. That is going to deter that little boy from expressing the emotions that he is experiencing in a healthy outlet with understanding people. And instead, that's going to result in a bottling up of those emotions and an unhealthy perception of what it means to even be a man. So do you think that do reinforcing that does a harm as far as mental health? 
Mm. Do I think reinforcing this giant social theory that you've come up with that I disagree with? Yeah, sure. Okay. So should we, we live in a society that? where men are told it's okay to cry? I don't see what kind of societal changes you want. I'm not sure what world you're living pushed in. Everywhere. Uh, no, it's not. Not there, at all. You might be thinking, was, did your dad tell you it's not manly to cry? Um, my, my dad didn't go as far as to say it's not manly to cry, but my dad would mm. definitely bring up certain things that were otherwise yeah. perceived as more feminine and heavily look down on that if yeah. us if us boys participated in that like I, i'm pretty sure there were times that like i would play with my sister with like her dollhouse or something and my dad would act like that was not a very good thing because that's Eesh. not like a manly thing thanks it's a new yeah i just don't see where in society you see a bunch of dudes being like don't cry it's not manly like pushing it on everybody you're 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 literally trying to make this like an explicit thing it's not that explicit it's not yeah growing up my dad looked me in the eye and said never fucking cry it was instead this idea that happening? to be a man you mm. cannot show as much emotion these are very real gendered expectations I, I, and again you so you're some, hold on wait you can't bad. wait stop you cannot say that this uh, perception or or uh, uh, forceful expression doesn't exist when you yourself were just engaging in it. You yourself were acting as if showing emotion is a bad thing because it's going to deter you from getting pussy, which is not only a simp like thing, want, it's hurting pussy, men's mental health. It. If you want pussy, you don't do it. For some boys, for some men, ever having the opportunity to express any emotion is toxic to them. For some, for most men, they need to train themselves how to keep their emotions in check. You should not be getting emotional as much as a woman as a man. So do you think negative. that it's a good thing to keep your emotions in check more so because you're a man? Or do you think that everybody, because what I would say is every human should generally keep their emotions in check. Again, you shouldn't start breaking down bawling when you're at work. Right. Similarly, that, but, uh, that goes for men and for women. Why does this need to be specific to men? I think it depends on the, you know, the lifestyle the man and woman are living. But a man's lifestyle, you do not want to be as emotional as a woman. It does not help you. You're out there working. You're around a bunch of men. There's threats of violence. All these things is the man's world. A woman who's staying at home and raising kids, she has the freedom to be emotional. Your kids. If you're bad for your kid, you build them up. A man, you're getting emotional. It's showing weakness. Now, I'm not saying it's, you can't do it. It's bad. No. When you get emotional... You are in a weaker state for men who are using more logic to manipulate you. So you're making my point right now, which is that expressing emotion is that expressing emotion is a sign of weakness. That's the problem right there. Men are supposed to be well, strong. Men are weakness. supposed to be tough. And it therefore, weakness. it's not weakness to express emotions. It, it, you think an emotional person is more easy or harder to control? What do you think I mean when I say um? express emotion i already agree and i already completely agreed with you that everybody should have their emotions in check you shouldn't be walking around sobbing left and right but it should also not be seen as weakness or a bad thing what for a man anger? to get emotional as well well what about anger do you think an angry guy is more easy to manipulate than a stoic guy um i don't so know he is Okay. If you know what makes them angry, you can you can control them more easily. This is why men have been told to keep their emotions in check. They don't want to be controlled by outside forces. They want to be the ones in control. That's different than saying you can't cry, never cry. I'm just saying keep your emotions in check. However, how you do that, how you release that bottle, maybe you go home and Wait, cry at cat videos you can, once a week. You can be emotionally intelligent also, right? So you can be in tune with your emotions, be aware of them, and know how to express them even in a healthy way, even if that includes crying, while also being intelligent enough or emotionally intelligent enough to recognize the time and the place to act appropriately. But again, this goes for everybody. This isn't just for men. When you place this standard on men only is that men need to be in control. They need to be more strong. They shouldn't cry. That is reinforcing a harmful idea on men, which is contributing to the suicidality of men. I'll go ahead and read this to you really quickly. So first of all, men are 3.5 times more likely than women to die by suicide. Their life expectancy is 4.9 years shorter than women's. APA's new guidelines for psychological practice with boys and men strive to recognize and address these problems in boys and men while remaining sensitive to the field's uh, past. 13 years in the making, they draw on more than 40 years of research showing that traditional masculinity is psychologically harmful and that socializing boys to suppress their emotions causes damage that echoes both inwardly and outwardly. 
So this oh, is, is the, the American. Is that the American Society for Psychology? The American um, Psychological Association. Yeah. Okay. I think they said all masculinity is toxic, didn't they? Would you like me I'm to read? Like would you like me to read it to you again? It says it the first 13 no, years no, no, in the making. The they, well, let, let me read it again. Uh, well, hold on, because uh, no, either can, look, I, I heard the quote. I'm saying they're the same group said. I don't, want to, I don't want to quote it, but I'm pretty sure they're the same group that also said masculinity is always toxic. Even if that were they true, that would be an ad hom attack and the, therefore be a logical fallacy, which would then make your argument completely useless. Oh, the same. So if, if this group said all masculinity is toxic and then you're using the same group to cite something else, I should just completely ignore their hatred of masculinity? No, not at all. You can bring it up all you want, but bringing it up as a rebuttal to what they said in this regard well, is if I got, a... Well, I got some great research from the clan. It's an ad hominem attack. So let me read this again for you. 13 years in the making, they draw on more than 40 years of research showing that traditional masculinity. You want me to say that again? Traditional masculinity, not all masculinity, traditional masculinity is okay. psychologically harmful and that socializing boys to suppress their emotions causes damage that echoes both inwardly and outwardly. So therefore, telling men and little boys that they shouldn't cry, that as a man, they need to be strong and not show weakness and they need to be in control, that is harming men, psychologically so what, harming men. So what percentage of suicides do you think this is causing or could be alleviated if we stop the problem? Um, I, I don't know. I would have to find a number for you. But again, this is like a specific question that is overlooking the actual. Hold on. Oh, just get to me. I don't know. You're using the bodies of dead men to push your anti-male I'm not using bot. You're contributing to the bodies of dead men. So you're yeah, the one at yeah, fault like here, there you a motherfucker. Lot more dudes saying they're not roping, emailing me. That's I don't think so that. great. Wow, that's great. Oh, oh, oh talk oh, about look at how much you care wait, about men's lives. It's just you're so using weird. a sarcastic bitch tone. It's oh, just it's so, so great weird. Like themselves. you say you're I gonna you, you say you're gonna slap here, my penis bitch. around. God. You say you're gonna slap my penis around. Now you say you're getting emails about I men like ejaculating. Like, it, are you okay? Bro. Are you all right? Because I, I think the multiculturalism degeneracy is really like eating your brain apart. I you know what? You're actually proving that degeneracy is infiltrating this world. I'm starting to feel a little bit ill. I, it's just strange to me that you're feeling ill when I'm explaining to you a societal expectation that exists that is provably contributing to a suicide rate of boys and not just suicide. It is contributing to a net harm on men psychologically. Now, you as a big men's right activist, I would think that yeah, you yeah. would care about men's mental well-being. Yeah, so I tell them to go to the gym. I don't tell them to be a beta so it's beta I'm to show getting, emotion. I'm getting ill so it's beta to show emotion. I'm listening to a feminist, a bitch boy. So it's beta to show. So it's beta to, to show emotion. ideology. So that's why I'm so it's beta Ill. to show emotion. Uh, hmm. Frequency of the emotion being shown is beta. Got it. So I don't see where this is happening in society. It's happening in society from you, from chuckle fucks like you. Chuckle fucks. Yeah, I guess I'm chuckling at a fuck right now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess if you think I have control over society, sure. But the feminists are in control. The American Psych Psychology Associ Association is in control. Y'all are in control. And the suicide rates are still getting worse. So how are you going to change it? You have the power. Side has the power. I have no power. Okay. I know you, like, think that, but that's not actually true. I mean, if you want to talk about government control, there's quite a lot of white men who are also Republican who would Ooh. preach against this toxic masculinity oh, shut. Oh uh, shit! That sure. are absolutely on your side, more or less, well, when it I comes have, to some oh, of these I, issues. Republicans are feminist ass wipes. I hate them. They're not on my side. Okay, so let me try yeah, to I find a, a newer study for you as well. Since the only good thing a Republican does is take away my guns a little bit slower. That's the only thing they do. That's great. I'm just I'm I don't know how we're gonna get any further in the conversation when you're you're acknowledging the problem, but then you're also saying we shouldn't address the problem. I don't understand the problem on a micro level. You're saying that that individual problem, which isn't as I think it's as, as widespread as you're saying, is responsible for all these men killing themselves. It the says right here, economy. according to the American Psychological Association, you're, you're tied, you're tied they define feminists. They define hate men. Okay. I don't. I care. know that it's I'm really easy you. for you as a dipshit to just label everything you don't like as oh. being from the feminists, so that you can continue in your anti. They are feminists. 
that you can continue in your anti-intellectual safe space. But let me read this once again, okay? You're the one talking. The APA defies traditional misgendering people, bro. The APA, the APA defies defines traditional masculinity as a particular constellation of standards that have held sway over large segments of the population, including anti-femininity achievement. Um, and the appearance, oh, 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 sorry, disgust of the appearance of weakness and adventure, risk, and violence. The guidelines, which were highlighted in the January issue, say the pressure boys and men feel to conform to certain aspects of traditional masculinity can lead to poor health outcomes, including higher rates of suicide, substance use, violence, and early death. So, did again, they standard, did they I standardize the data. From single mother households. So I care a lot about men and I want to see men living better lives. And when there are people like you that are preaching this idea Ooh. that if men are acting quote unquote feminine or they need to go to the gym or they shouldn't show emotion, that that, that somehow makes them weak or somehow makes them beta. Yeah, they are physically weak you're if they don't go to contributing the gym. to the problem here. Like you, you're actually mm -hmm. actively contributing to the well, issue. Well, you're citing a study. You don't know if they standardize for a bunch of other factors which lead to suicide. So like you're using the study, you're waving it around, you're saying you're an intellectual, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm not saying I'm an intellectual. I'm st actually, it's the, the opposite, which is even more embarrassing for you because I'm demonstrating oh. that just a little bit of research from somebody who is not an oh, intellectual you, you is able to research, prove you how, you're wrong, data how, data, how, how you're wrong and how you're wrong. for other risk factors of suicide. They're just talking about toxic masculinity. Was there a father in the household? Do they need their to- Their prenatal drug exposure. They, do, what level of economics were they at? But you don't want to, you, since you got the golden goose and you could say men are killing themselves because toxic masculinity, you don't need to research more into it. Google search is what you needed. Okay. Yeah. I look for, I try to look for research to back up my opinions. I don't usually use and my don't feelings understand like you. Research. You can find research to find anything to back up. I mean, up as, as a, you know, I, I don't know how you, Mr. Alpha are over here justifying feelings over facts. And in, in my book, you know, well, using factual information. You don't know to, about the facts. So you all have his feelings. So I'll go feelings. You're feelings asking you. arbitrary questions and then trying it's to say, look, I got gotcha. you. The standardization it, of data sets. They didn't say that 90 you know per, Hold on, wait, just is. shut the fuck <laughs> up. Oh, they no, did not say data. that oh, night. Data. They did not. Oh, are you losing it? Oh, he's gotten so triggered. Oh, he left. There he went. Aw. What a triggered beta. Triggered beta. Beta alert. Let's see if he'll answer again. We got a triggered beta over here. Let's see. Da, da, da. I'll just keep looking through this also. This dude's a massive beta. Holy shit. I didn't even get a chance to call him a fucking retard. No. The effectiveness of prevention efforts has been difficult to determine as suicide rates increase. The challenge is there are various suicide prevention programs. Okay. Scientific knowledge is limited. Public knowledge is wrong. Okay. How do we... <clears throat> I'm going to go back to my two times size stream. Enjoy your tears. Really? What a massive triggered little baby. I'm surprised. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find it. Like, he obviously wants a legitimate statistic, so I'm trying to find one for him. Suicide does toxic masculinity account for. That's probably what I'm looking for. The toxicity and toxic masculinity. Oh, man. Now I got a great study here that I wasn't even able to read to him because the little baby ran away. Suppressing emotions, maintaining an appearance of toughness. Toxic masculinity is a barrier to mental health treatment. Hmm. That's interesting. That's really sad too. Each year, suicide ranks in the top 20 leading causes of fatality across the world for people of all ages, and it's responsible for more than 700,000 deaths. These statistics aren't just numbers. They are friends, members of a family, partners, parents, sons, and daughters. But when, consider, when you consider statistics, there's a significant difference between genders. 
Okay. In the UK, men are three times more likely to die by suicide than women. Um, I'm wondering if they give like an exact number, which is something he's doing is like a bad faith question, but I found what you wanted. Just join for another minute. I'm really quite surprised uh, about this this guy. I thought that the convo would go a little bit better. It started off kind of on a rough start, start because we didn't really have like a, a direction that we were going. Um, but as soon as we started getting into the toxic masculinity stuff, he began to completely fucking lose the plot. Men who have internalized traditional views of masculinity are not only less likely to go see their doctor, but they are also less likely to be honest about their health history and symptoms. Damn. So yeah, toxic masculinity plays a gigantic fucking role in the problems that men are currently experiencing. And again, the fact that we have retards like this, um, what is his name? Undead chronic little bitch. He is unironically contributing to the suicide rate. Then he wants to con accuse me of using the men's bodies as a defense mechanism. No, dude, I'm bringing up what your ideology is leading to. It was a rough start because you, for some reason, said eth ethnicities is culture, which ain't true. No, I didn't. I said that multiculturalism is usually referring to multiculturals, multiple cultures and multiple ethnicities. You're a fucking joke, dude. All right, calm Mike Z. You have 10 seconds to join the Discord. If I do not see you, then you will be permanently banned. Yes, you did, Hunter. I read the definition of multiculturalism. The presence of or support of the presence of several distinct cultural or ethnic groups within a society. That's what multiculturalism means. Don't incriminate me for just trying to stick to a definition because you got triggered, okay? Come on. Either way, Undead Chronic, wow, really disappointing. It's very sad how much of a beta little bitch you are. Oh, well. He's doing damage control? Privation, no, that's not really strong either. But adverse childhood experiences, so like growing up in a single mother household. So was your data normalized for the men that killed themselves? Did they grow up in single mother households? Or is it just asking about whether or not daddy said don't cry? Right? Because if you don't it's, normalize for the other risk factors, your data is bullshit. He doesn't understand how it works again. It, it's that there are literally a, a uh, there are social expectations that are placed on boys. It might not even be from their father. It's generally a societal thing. This was a crushing defeat for the other side. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I can't have this conversation with him because again, he would just go to, you didn't do the research. You, you, you old man, grandpa chronic needs a dictionary. Um. <laughs> You're right, dude. He's coping so bad. Yeah. Hamster, that was that was so much worse than last night. Yeah, because you got fucking blown out, probably, cuck. Are you there, Hamster? One second. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that was yeah. so bad compared to last night. <laughs> that was. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah I have to admit. I, like, I don't want to talk about multiculturalism. I hate it. Can I just go on to feminism? I hate that more, <laughs> but I can talk about it more. <laughs> yeah, I... Um... Dude, listen to this guy. I listened to the whole time. The whole time. Both of you are acting immature. No, actually, we're not, and you're coping now too. So you, so you eat as lefty types. It's all or nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh no, there could be no gray area. It's black and white. You said it's you're a racist and all. This. No, 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 no. You, it's cultural. It's a diff, like white trash people. <laughs> white trash people can be. Any and so I asked him if the cultural the value differences means having different opinions also, right? So then, therefore, if we had an all white country. The, we would still have multiculturalism is according to his logic. That's why I was asking him that again. They're, they're just like, they're just like saying things. Cause they're mad. It doesn't matter. They're trash, right? That's a cultural thing. I give my white and, card to any trash out there. Mm, you are now white, mm. <laughs> but you, you see, you what ranted I'm more and ran on more and wouldn't shut up, but shouted, shut up. All right. Uh, Nate Palm or this is the lupus guy. All right. See you later. Blocked. Don't care. He was trying to, you know, say some shit, and he was just... I was just like, bro, you're on the left. Like, you are on the left. You will right. get canceled if you say this kind of shit. It's like when, uh, fucking, um... What? Who was it? 
Chud Logic was telling me he hates gay people. Like, just straight up. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. I'm like, bro, you're on the left. You can't say this stuff. Exactly. It's because we're not afraid of, of acting a little edgy when we're talking to actual racist dipshits like you, probably. To call someone gay, anyway. Gay is the new great, right? It's wonderful, right? Alphabet people. So how is this a uh, insult? So I, yeah, the, the contradictions among these people, chronic, <laughs> are <laughs> legion. It's amazing to me. Yeah, you see, like I got, I, I got emotional and triggered when he was trying to use the bodies of all the men that killed themselves. And he's like, "This is why toxic masculinity is a problem." That's not me saying no, it. There's no. literally like medical institutions that are saying this. Holy shit! Shipping their jobs overseas, importing drugs into their country, letting their women destroy their family, never having a father. That's not that has no idea. No, it's just them crying. Somebody should really comment in the chat. Well, cope. I mean, they, they can't talk. He's about just coping of kids so bad father, boys and girls. They don't want to talk about that because that would put some onus, some burden of responsibility on the female. That's unallowed. You can't mm. have that. Right. See, see, see how they always figure out a way to turn it around to, to hating the women still. It's so weird, bro. Her fault. It was he ran off. See. Well, what about she picked these guys? Or oh no no no, he's evil. Men are toxic. Blah blah blah. We literally had to Thanks, argue Jeff. about the definition of multiculturalism for twenty minutes I'm because like, you wouldn't agree on work. one. Because you wouldn't agree on one, and you were using it in a value way and in a racial ethnic way, and you wouldn't just agree to it. Yeah, that that whole crying thing again. <clears throat> that's that was also the nuance was lost upon poor little Hunter, right? <laughs> The it's like, the, not that you can't cry. It depends yeah. on the situation. Yeah. I address like, that. Like, uh, He's thinking of the archetype of the man who beats his son if he ever finds him crying anytime no, ever. I'm like, that culture does not exist in society. It doesn't. No. Cope. Well, I mean, it might. There might be a few people that do well, this, that. Well, there's individuals. Uh-oh. You know, <laughs> Some like, of my viewers lot, are in his chat now. Individual transformers that groom kids and take them into bathrooms. Is Am I going to say there's a culture of that? He would lose his shit. Cope. Well, of course. I mean, you know, but, but, but what these people like to do is, you Cope. know, more probably better than I do. They take a small subset of something Cope. and say it's happening widespread. It's ridiculous. He's going to start society whining is not about chat now. Culture. It is not beat your kid because he cries culture. That is nonsense. That's not it's what anybody bull. said. You know they what I know. think? You, you know what I think? Beta. I think that if you are being raised in a single mother household and your father comes by once a week and he's some bad boy, whatever, he's just come to visit you. I think you're much more likely to get beaten for crying than if you come from a uh, another one. Yeah, he's in the uh -oh. chat. He Hunter, says cope. Hunter's in the chat. He yeah. Cope. Hey, Hunter Avalon, the cope is the fact I got more viewers than you right now, bro. When you resort to That's mentioning viewers, come on, you know you've you got 690,000 subs. And you got the nice little check mark. Oh. Oh, Free Ross deleted it. <laughs> oh, Free Ross is banned. <laughs> uh, he might be sending his simps over. I'm saying, does oh, more no, views yeah, mean your opinion is correct? Oh, that's all right. No, that's, that's all fine. right. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the chats, guys. Hey, I don't want to talk to Hunter because it's obvious his pussy's loose and he needs to go DNA test his children. But if any Hunter simps want to call in, bro, hey, Hunter simps, call in. I'll talk to yeah, a Hunter simps. Don't do it, guys. I'll probably have a better conversation with a Hunter simps. Don't do it. Than actual Hunter. He'll rewrite the no, fucking we, we debate. We had some pretty interesting conversations in the chat while you guys were arguing about whatever the hell you were I'm a Hunter about. simp. <laughs> Can yeah, I know. Like, again? that's the thing, man. Like, I have more interesting, nuanced conversations, <laughs> and we actually get on the disagreements. <laughs> um, we we elucidate them greater than when I talk to people like Hunter Avalon. It's just because he the thing is that Hunter is he needs to be right about everything. What? Oh, one hundred percent everything. This is such a cope. No, he I can't, don't. He, wasn't, he can't be. He can't say I'm right about anything because if he does that. I literally, wait, about I said that he was right about some stuff, including the fact that men are not always treated properly. And he wasn't quite as smug as what's his face last night, Destiny. But I mean, you, you know, I admit the guy is that he he's pretty he's pretty sharp, but, you know, oh, he's, he's good. He's, at, he's good just, at arguing, but like yeah. he's arguing for the yeah. wrong shit. Just he doesn't have any kind of introspection <clears throat> on his arguments. Like well, he, he wants to talk to be like, more on the right. You like know? he like for me like talking about men telling their sons not to cry is like uh, is like fixing like uh is like stitching up a, a wound on the top of your foot when both femurs are broken the bones are sticking out. It's like no, let's mm -hmm. talk about single mothers. Remember how his question was what percentage of toxic masculinity uh has a result 
with the, the suicide rate. And then he hung up before I could tell him. Now he's just pivoting back to blaming women. It's so cringe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.